So again, CTO mining has come to an end on Satoshi, and this is how you connect your wallet. So first of all, once you go to your Satoshi homepage, of course, this is how it's going to look like. So you click on the Me section, and you can see a list of assets here. Just click anywhere on the screen at that place. Once it opens up, you scroll up and you look for your CTO. So as you can see, this is mine currently. If you click on it, you get this option to link wallet address. So all you need to do is go to your MetaMask and connect your wallet. It is an EVM compatible wallet. I still get these questions a lot of times from people that what is an EVM wallet? Well, this video will not be enough for me to explain in full details what it is or how it works. So I will advise you to do your own personal research. But the simple explanation I can give to you is once you open up your MetaMask, you just copy any address at all you see there, go to your Satoshi and you link it. It's that simple. So you don't need to be asking questions like, am I linking my Tone wallet? Am I linking my Core wallet? Am I linking this Bitcoin? Whatever. Once they say EVM, it supports all assets in that wallet. So for instance, let me open up my wallet. So as you can see, once my wallet is opened up, I'll go ahead and copy this wallet here that says address. Now, I see some people saying you should link your core wallet address that is only the acceptable one, which um, is kind of true, but it's not acceptable. It does not go with the concept of EVM. When you talk of an EVM wallet, all coins here, for instance, if I should click on this, my Ethereum to open it up, and then I click on this receive button, you can see, if you click on copy, look at this address I've copied here. It's starting with OXAC90 and ending with this 283, whatever. So if I should go back now, you can see, look at my screen here. It's same address, starting with OXAC90. If I should also look for another token here, let me, for instance, pick this linear main network and which tokens. Okay, this my wallet is kind of new, so I don't have any important tokens here. But if, for instance, I have imported my core or any other tokens on it, it doesn't matter. The addresses are the same for all of them. It's totally the same thing. And wallets that are EVM compatible, for example, Trust Wallet is also an EVM compatible wallet. Binance, Binance, um, Binance Web3 Wallet and um, even OKEX Web3, Bybit and the likes. But those ones are a, a bit complicated to understand. So stick with this MetaMask. It's as easy as that. So you just pick your wallet and let me go and connect my own now. Go to this link wallet, click on it. Add. Okay, so they ask for confirmation, which I'll click on confirm and then wait for the verification code that I'm going to receive via my email. So this is the code I received here, 413890. So, okay, my CTO wallet address has been linked successfully. I kind of forgot my password there, so I had to retry and retry ignore here. I got it. So it's linked successfully, and they didn't ask me to do any facial recognition something. But if for you, if they ask, then you have to look for a clear background with a good lightning and do it. It should be very easy. So that is all about that. Once it's linked, the page is still going to be displaying link wallet address. Why? Because they still allow you to change in case maybe you made an error, you want to link another wallet or whatever. So that is just basically the simple way to link your wallet address. And if you're watching from YouTube, check the description box of this video. There is a link there to my WhatsApp and Telegram channel. If you are watching from TikTok, check my bio. Click on that link tree there. Click on the link tree. You are going to see a link to my WhatsApp and Telegram channel. So it's as easy as that.